This lesson deals with the principle of proportionality and linearity. You can find these notes in the course ebook in chapter 3 starting on page 24. Let me first state the principle of proportionality, then explain it. The response of a circuit is proportional to the response which is causing it. So if you had a circuit with three sources, and you were solving for, say, a voltage V out, and you took those three sources and you tripled it. In other words, each source is multiplied by a factor of three. Your output voltage now would be three times what it was before. Now, why is this true? Well, if we multiply every source in our superposition proof by a scalar, say it's C, then we have the following for the current. I'll call this I1 hat, where I1 was our result in the superposition proof. Taking every source and multiplying it by a scalar. We had X voltage sources and Y current sources, but each one of these is multiplied by the same scalar. So you could pull it out, and what's left over is our definition of I1. Let's do an example. Let's take this example we've done several times, where we had two current sources. They were 3 milliamps and 5 milliamps, and suppose that I double them. Let's find the node voltages V1 and V2 now with this circuit, using the principle of proportionality. Well, since we doubled every source, we took something that was 3 milliamps, made it 6, 5 milliamps, made it 10, then the voltage we solved for before, which was 1.4 for V1 and minus 3.4 for V2, they're doubled. Now the voltage is 2.8 and minus 6.8. I mentioned the word linearity before, but now let me give you a formal definition. A circuit is said to be linear if it possesses the properties of superposition and proportionality. Examples of linear circuits that we've looked at are those that contain voltage sources, current sources, resistances, or op-amps. Examples of nonlinear circuits are those consisting of diodes and comparators, or op-amps that saturate. And this is the idea of proportionality and linearity.